Yeah, I would definitely say it's probably the best so far. Um, I think the sequence was really fun too. Um, you know, just getting up and down, and you know that's when we play our best basketball. And then you know, uh, Pee Wow gets one right after that. That was really cool. So, yeah, it was definitely a, uh, probably my best sequence in the NBA. Hit. Do, you, do you think you jumped higher on your own dunk, the oop, or when <laughs> Peyton had the dunk? You yeah. jumped pretty high on that too. Yeah, I told P that uh, you know when he got his his dunk, I jumped up behind him, uh, but probably my dunk, I would say. How did it feel just to be out there in those closing moments, though, with, with Peyton and, and the trust that Coach felt in you yeah. in such a big situation? Yeah, I mean, that's the, like you said, the trust, uh, you know, is a big part of it. Obviously, um, you know, he left us out, um, you know, through ups and downs throughout the game. Um, you know, he could have subbed us out for, you know, the guys that, that normally finish the game. Uh, but he trusted me and P, um, trusted our defense, um, you know, trusted to get it done. You know, those plays don't happen. Um, you know, if we come out earlier, we check out, um, you know, at our usual time. So, you know, him trusting us, coach trusting us um, in that moment um, in a big game like that is, is uh, very meaningful. Christian, that's a, that's a really good team over there. Uh, what did you learn about them over the course of four games this year? I mean, I think we learned it, uh, you know, last year uh, during the playoffs. They played us really tough. Uh, I think we beat them in five, but, you know, they were, they were really tough. One of our probably our tough, one of our toughest, uh, you know, series. Um, and they were without, you know, two of their best players, too. So. Um, you know, we, we already knew how good they were. We know that, you know, every game they're going to come in, they're going to battle. Um, and it's always a good matchup when, when we play them. Um, you know, they got a lot, of, a lot of really good players, Ants obviously, and, um, and they're really, really, really good defensively. Um, so we understand the challenge. Um, you know, I think we rose, you know, to the occasion today um, in a meaningful game. So that was good for us. And how, much, how much did your phone blow up when you got to the locker room? Uh, it, was, it was definitely blowing up. But, I mean, just the, the love the guys showed me was, you know, really cool. Uh, during you know during that moment, and then when I got to the locker room, so I haven't haven't really looked at my phone yet. I saw my mom text me, um, so that's pretty cool too. What did she say? Oh, Lord knows, I'm not. I, I, <laughs> I, probably, I probably can't say it in here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's easy to get up for this game, but how challenging will it be, especially if a couple guys you know don't play in, in either Friday or Sunday, to get up for those last two games. No, nah, it, it it won't be challenging because we understand you know the the one seed's not locked up you know unless we win these next two. Um, we understand that. I understand that. Um, you know, we got to, you know, do a good job of communicating that to everybody. And I think, you know, this team, you know, we've been in these positions and, you know, we understand the importance, uh, you know, of these next two games. Um, so, you know, just getting our bodies right and making sure, you know, we're locked in and we don't have any slippage going into these next two is really important. In both of the games you guys won against them, you held Ant scoreless in the fourth quarter. What does it take to sort of start to or try to contain his explosiveness? I mean, he's, he's one of the best players in the league. Uh, you know, you can show him a lot of different things. You can throw different people at him. You can throw double teams at him. Um, you know, he's got counters for everything. He hits tough shots. When he picks the ball up, his pivots are really good. So um, he's a really good player. Um, you know, so you got to throw a lot of different things at him. Um, and, and, and we do a good job of that, you know, most of the time. But, you know, to hold him, to hold him scoreless in the fourth quarter of two games is uh, obviously really big. But um, that's a credit to, you know, our team defense. With your bounce, is that something that you were born with or something that you worked hard to develop? Mm. I would like to say I worked out a little bit growing up, but uh, I don't know. I, I think I was, I was born with it. My dad tries to take credit for it, um, but I, haven't, I don't know. I haven't seen that. So I, I, I would assume I've worked for it, um, and obviously my genetics help too, but um, I think I've had it my whole life. So you guys shy away from you know, attacking the rim, but... Is there a split second where you're like, well, this is Rudy Gobert, or what am I doing here? Or is there ever any doubt? Because you got the first dunk on him, I guess, a little earlier. I mean, yeah, it's funny you say that because I was just telling uh, a lot of the credit goes to Piwat too, because I think Rudy knew that, you know, Piwat's a high flyer running behind him. So he was stunting, falling, you know, trying to, trying to play both, um, which is what you're supposed to do, obviously, in transition. Um, and he was just caught between two guys, you know, that, that attacked him pretty hard. So, um, you know, he's obviously, you know, one of the best defensive players in the league. And, um, you know he did he did what he was supposed to do, but obviously got caught. And uh, most of the time he gets those you know gets those blocks. Christian, the bench played uh, really well tonight. You guys as a unit. What do you think goes? What do you think like the key attribute is when you guys are playing at that level? You guys are playing right. Uh, I think defensively. I think when we're not taking the ball out of the net, um, you know, and bringing it up, playing uh, you know a set offense. Uh, when we get stops, we rebound and we run, and you know we're playing with energy. We're playing up and down. Um, you know, it's not just half court basketball. That's when our second unit's always at our best. We were at our best last year when we were doing that. Um, so no, just the same mindset. Um, you know, getting stops, um, rebounding is a big thing for us too. You know, getting stops, rebounding, and then when we run, um, it's typically when we play our best. Um, you know, as a second unit. 
uh, Christian go Nicola goes for 41. He had another just monster game tonight. Just when he's making some of the shots that he's making, when they're as contested as they are, just what goes through your head? Is it is it normal from him, or is it just wow? How did he make that? One? It's it's normal now. Um, you know, obviously when I first got here, I'm like, you know, it was amazing to watch. Um, but I think I've said this a million times, like just his routine every day. You know, he shoots those same exact shots. Um, you know, we have the same uh, player development guy. So, um, you know, Ogie makes him shoot over everybody. Uh, and shoot, shoots it really high in the air, uh, you know, when he's working out. So in the game, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really affect him. He doesn't see you, you know, because he's shooting the same way every single time. Um, you know, and it is amazing. And like I said, I mean, I, I've seen him a million times, but uh, I think he gets 41 and missed four shots. Um, so he's just a great player, and that's a great defensive team too. So it's not like he's doing it against you know a team that's not good defensively. Um, he's just an amazing player. How, how much time do you have to actually think about going left-handed with the dunk, like to process, like how am I going to do this? Like, what's that like? I, I actually like to dunk. Everybody on the team knows I like to dunk with my left hand. Uh, yeah, most of the time. So uh, I don't usually try it in the fourth quarter of a you know a, a big game like that. Um, but like I said, you know I didn't want to go over the layup against you know the best defensive player in the league. So. You got to attack him strong, and um, I don't know. I don't. I didn't, didn't really plan it. Um, it just happened like that, um, and it worked out. So that's good. You know, a couple games ago, you actually had a chance to drive and maybe dunk, but you dished it to to MPJ mm -hmm. for that three a couple games ago. I'm, I'm curious the difference in your thought process there. Well, that one worked out too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I, I like to say I made the the, the right decision, but I mean, uh, I think that night Wendy had nine blocks. Um, I saw him out of the corner of my eye. You know, and it was, I think it was 27 seconds left in the game. Uh, you know, so I didn't want to go up and get blocked, and that leads to a break. Um, you know, and it was tied up um, in another important game. So, um, you know, I just wanted to make the right play. I try to make the right play every time, play the right way. And, uh, you know, like I said, I think both decisions ended up working. Um, I don't know if the, the one against Wimby was a great decision, but, you know, Mike uh, backed me up. So, and I know that if I throw it to Mike in the open shot, he's going to knock it down. One more. CB, dunk it off. Or, or your left foot with your left hand, is that partly to use your body, but also if you use it to right handed, maybe to go up with your right? Or you, you know, I wish, I wish that I planned it out like that. I, <laughs> I wish I could say I thought that through. I'm but, just saying in general, when you, you said you like to jump off your left. Yeah, no, I just do it. I don't know. I like to jump left, left, finish layups. A lot of times I do. Um, I'm just much better off my, off my left leg. And um, like I said, I can't say that I planned it that way. It just, you know, kind of went like that. And I'm grateful that it that it went in the basket. Thank you. Appreciate it.